awesome. Awesome to the max. Welcome back to another episode of All Things Mental. Thanks for joining me today. If you're new here, this is a space where we talk about the real stuff, mental health, self-care, and breaking down those walls that keep us from living our best lives. Today, we're tackling something that's still a huge barrier for so many people, the stigma around mental health. Let's get real for a second. Why is it that in 2024, when you can literally buy a space ticket online, talking about mental health still feels like you're confessing a crime? If you've ever felt like people look at you weird when you mention mental health, then this episode is for you. To kick things off, let's go back a bit, not too far back. Don't worry, I'm not about to give you a boring history lesson. But think about how mental health issues were viewed decades ago. We're talking asylums, hushed whispers, and all those old-fashioned labels like crazy or lunatic. That kind of language sticks around. And the mentality that mental health struggles are something to be ashamed of hasn't completely disappeared. Today, we've still got this lingering idea that if you're dealing with depression or anxiety, it's because you're weak or broken. And that's just not true. Imagine this, you're at work and you trip and break your leg. You wouldn't just limp around pretending like everything is fine, right? You'd go to the doctor, get it fixed up and maybe even get some sympathy points from your coworkers. But what happens if you say, hey, I'm not feeling so great mentally. Suddenly it's like you've opened up Pandora's box. People either don't know what to say or worse, they say something like, just think positive. Oh yeah, thanks, hadn't thought of that one. A recent study found that almost 50% of people with mental health conditions don't seek help because of the stigma. That's half of us sitting in silence feeling like we can't talk about it because someone might judge us. It's like trying to drive on a flat tire but pretending it's not happening. Spoiler alert, it's not going to end well. So why does this stigma exist? It's partly cultural, partly ignorance and partly just plain fear. In some families, even mentioning that you're feeling down gets treated like you're announcing plans to move to Mars. You might hear, just toughen up, or other people have it worse. Yeah, maybe so, but comparing pain doesn't make anyone feel better. Imagine saying, well, you broke your arm, but some people break both arms, so stop whining. Ridiculous, right? The same goes for mental health. I've got a story for you. A friend of mine, we'll call him Dave, had his first panic attack at work. This is a guy who once bench pressed more than I weigh, okay? and he's sitting there thinking he's having a heart attack. He gets rushed to the hospital, only to be told, you've got anxiety. His first reaction, no way, I'm not weak. And there it is. The idea that mental health struggles mean you're weak. But you know what? Being able to admit you need help isn't weak. It's actually one of the strongest things you can do. And let's bust another myth. Talking about mental health makes it worse. Actually, it's the opposite. Studies show that discussing mental health openly can reduce symptoms and promote healing. It's like airing out a room. You've got to open the windows to let the fresh air in. It's also crucial to remember that mental health issues don't discriminate. Anxiety, depression, bipolar disorder. They don't care who you are, how much money you make or how many followers you've got. I've heard people say, but you don't look like you have a mental illness. And I'm like, well, what does that even look like? You can't always see it just like you can't see someone's physical pain. It's invisible, but that doesn't mean it's not real. We need to change the narrative. It starts with us. We need to keep talking about it. Every time we share a story, ask a question, or listen without judgment, we chip away at that stigma. So here's what I want you to do. Start a conversation. It could be with a friend, a family member, or even a colleague. And if someone opens up to you about their mental health, listen. Don't try to fix it or offer unsolicited advice. Just listen. Sometimes that's all someone needs to feel like they're not alone. And if you're the one who's struggling, remember, it's okay to ask for help. Whether it's a friend, a therapist, or even a stranger on a hotline, reach out. You don't have to carry the weight alone. Before we wrap up, I want to leave you with this. Imagine a world where talking about mental health is as normal as talking about the weather, where you can say, I'm feeling a bit anxious today. And someone replies, I'm here for you. That's the world we should be working toward and every conversation gets us a little closer. Thanks for tuning in to All Things Mental. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a review and share this episode with someone who might need it. Let's keep breaking that stigma one conversation at a time. Take care and remember it's okay not to be okay.